the screen you see a reflection? No. Okay. You ready? Yep. Hi there, this is Chauncey and I want to show you my electronic control system that I built. <clears throat> the idea is kind of like a home automation product and I want to make it so that I can like drive in the driveway of the house and what the, sen the system recognizes that my cell phone is nearby by sensing if the Bluetooth is there and the Bluetooth address is present and then by doing that it will turn on a combination of electronic sources say like the lights in my house so for instance I hooked up this uh, Bluetooth mouse to test to do testing on so I'll flip that on you can see the little LED light is on there and in about every 45 seconds the system pings uh, kind of what's in the in the area for Bluetooth devices and if it sees that this mouse is present it'll turn on my profile in the database based on the lighting so basically you could have lots of profiles so there it goes right there it just saw that this mouse was on and it turned on my profile which is these two sets of Christmas lights okay now also on our desktop here you see we have uh, an air application running here this is Python pinging um, the WDMI or yeah WMI um, DLLs for the Bluetooth uh, sources in the air. This here is the the uh, source of the action script. Okay, so the lights just shut off because I shut the mouse off. Um, this here is a manual connection. So like I could, I, if I was on my desktop, I could go here, click on my profile, click that, the lights turn on. If I click on Rachel, which is my wife, her combination turns on to a different set of lights. If I click all on, go ahead and look at the lights. I'll click all on, clicking everything turns on and click all off all of them turn back off so that's manual control of this thing generally you wouldn't want to do that for a home automation system because you don't want to even think about it you just want to like you know come in and out but say like you leave the house and you left something on you know you left something on and the system isn't programmed to turn it off when you leave or something like that well I made it uh, this thing accessible with uh, VNC I've tested this so that we can VNC into the computer so here we have the interface that's on the, the laptop and on the cell phone here you can see I'll, I'll click my name and then my devices turn on click my wife's name hers all on all off so in essence we have a, a simple home automation system using Python to kind of uh, sense the Bluetooth signals all around to see if you're home um, we have VNC so that mobile devices are enabled um, I'm using ActionScript 3 to produce the Air app um, that controls all of this, Fidgets um, is producing this relay switch. So you probably should get a shot of that. This is not something that I made. This is something that I bought from Fidgets.com, and that turns all the things, all the Christmas lights on and off. And you can wire anything in there, AC or DC, um, standard, you know, under 110 volt AC. And other than that, I think that's it. Um, I'm using PHP to access the uh, database on the Apache server. The database is three tables. It's like all the profiles, so each one of these buttons, the Chauncey, Rachel, all on, all off, they are all coming in actually off the database and being listed. So you could literally go in there, put in an entirely other profile, and select the, pro the custom commands, and you could do, you know, another profile, and it would list it here. I wouldn't have to repro I wouldn't have to recompile the error application. Um, and then like it's all re the, the three tables are the profiles the relational ta table to relate the profiles to all the device commands for this and then the third table is just all the device commands and uh, that's it so it's a pretty cool system though it's all I probably put this all together for um, I think it was about $50 and probably about maybe 40 hours of actual work designing and building so not bad for like a weekend or week project. So thanks a lot.